It's hard to believe that the same wolves that shared our ancient ancestors' campfire have changed to be this domesticated animal. But what hasn't changed is that these furry critters, the dogs of today, remain man's best friend. There are still wolves, all right, and they are still wild, but it's also true that all of today's dogs come from wolves. Some dogs still have some of that wolf appearance. Hmm. Well, she likes the combing. Oh, yeah, yes. But others, not so much. This video clip is about those, not the wild wolf, but about the faithful dog. This is one dog rescued from a shelter. It lives in a household with many well cared for dogs, the home of writer Paul Handover and his wife, two Oregon residents who have an especially high opinion of dogs. Now they're very, very special animals. And this young man here, he came from a couple that couldn't handle a rambunctious puppy and was going to give him up. And he came our way. So he's somewhat of a rescue dog. Yeah. Paul Handover advocates taking in rescue dogs. There's a feeling abroad from some people that not, not to take a rescue dog uh, because there's something sort of wrong about them, and that's, that's poppycock. Um, rescue dogs are often much better uh, to have as a, as a pet than, than taking a puppy. Especially for older people. Especially for older people. And the other thing is, there's a, there's a sense, it's, it's a subjective emotional position, but it's, there's a sense that rescue dogs know that they've been rescued and when they're in a loving home, they, they respond so much to that. I mean, we like to think so. It's very difficult to, to prove that scientifically, but... The key, says Handover, is love. Unconditional love. I would, I would just endorse and amplify the, the unconditional love. Um, dogs, dogs have an ability to demonstrate unconditional love in a way that we humans can at times struggle to, to really recognize. And showing them unconditional love, loving them for who they are, what they are, is really valuable and it, it generates the depth of relationship which is both important to the dog and, is, and then in turn is important to the human owner, the human friend. Notice there's no arguing. Everyone just waits for their treats. There's no fighting. Your bed can get another and another. And Pharaoh gets another one. That's it. Paul Handover esteems dogs so much, he's written a book entitled, Learning from Dogs. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Go, 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 go. 
I'm thinking of training this one here, Brandy, as a service dog. Because he's so laid back and calm. He sure is. And I have Parkinson's. And I need a little bit of stability sometimes. Mm -hmm. And he would be perfect. Brandy. Dogs can be trained to help people in many special ways. Best known, perhaps, are dogs trained as guide dogs for the blind, also called seeing eye dogs. In Southern Oregon, some dogs are trained for people who can't hear, from an organization called Dogs for the Deaf. German Shepherds protect people and their possessions. They can be trained as guard dogs. And some dogs are trained as therapy dogs. They help people of all ages cope with emotional trauma or just loneliness. Dogs often form very strong bonds with people fortunate enough to have dogs in their life. It's not surprising that in many countries, including the United States, dogs make up the largest number of pets. It's been pointed out that the word dog, spelled backward, is God. You may be surprised to learn that dogs can also be teachers. That's the theme of another video clip that you'll see soon on Ramping Up Your English.